Hey, greetings, 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 everybody. Got my little peach right there. Says I doesn't have, I don't have a good connection. They're lying. Okay. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Woo! Energy's been high. That's why I'm about to light some of this Poly Santo up in here. So we can bless up. Oh, my um ancestors, they already here with me. Right there on the car. He was on the car the whole time. I had walked out of my um I had walked out to my car and it was a fly already waiting on my car. I know that's my ancestors, and he's right here. Let me see. You see him? Uh that's my grandpa right there. He was on the car earlier before I left because I had I had to drive away from my house. Cause I don't get a good signal over there. So I hope everybody is doing wonderful. And if you not, I hope the power of my voice makes you feel wonderful. Cause today is a beautiful day, just like any other day in this reality. Um, we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about awakening uh symptoms. Some some of you guys might be experiencing um different symptoms and you just you really don't know what's going on you think you're going crazy you can't sleep you're losing time um and you probably just don't know what's going on so i posted a link i think it was two days ago um on um ascension symptoms now i know some people they don't read they just like the past information they see the title they read a little bit of it. They like, oh, let me share, let me share. But um, so I'm gonna take the time out and I'm gonna read them to you, and we're gonna get into it, and then we're gonna share experiences, and then we're gonna kind of tell about tell how what what you need to do to maintain the flow of energy that's hitting this planet. See, what's happening is um, this Earth is growing just like us it's it's detoxing just like us um all those some some storms are, are man-made and, and some storms are just done by nature don't think everything is man-made don't forget that you're detoxing and uh the earth is detoxing too so um it's just not about you know man-made uh weather although some some things are man-made um but um so yeah, so the the world is definitely definitely detox. There's so many changes going on. Sometimes you may feel like you know, real drained out, real tired after sleep. Sometimes you only need three hours of sleep then you up. It's all part of your vibration getting more higher, <clears throat> and it's trying to work um, and balance itself out uh, within this vessel. This vessel is so dense that the inner the vibration is so high is trying to you know process to live live in this this vehicle this vessel um so cleanse my area my ancestors are here i got it on my computer so what we're going to kind of do it's 54 of them i don't think i'm going through all of them today y'all i am hungry <laughs> um so some of you probably didn't read the post and some of you did so I'm not going to read all of them because the post is there. That's why I posted it. But like I said, I know some people don't read. So I'm going to read a little bit from the article, okay? So if, if you are experiencing, now these are these are things, if you're going through the spiritual awakening, this is what can be happening to you. One thing before I get into it, you have to really become the scientist of your life. You have to start writing stuff down. I told you guys the internet and stuff is about to be censored. We're not going to have all this information on the internet. And the internet is going to be different. It's best to jot down information about whatever, kundalini, crystals, crystal balls, whatever. Write it all down. Put it all on a hard drive. So anyway, um, when you're going through the awakening process, you can experience change of uh, patterns in your sleep. So, you know, you can feel restlessness, you can feel hot, um, you can wake up every time in the middle of the night, two, three times a night, just waking up, just like, wah, I'm up. <laughs> so, um, I know I have personally been experiencing that, so waking up two or three times out of the, in the night, um, 
you wake up and then you you up for like an hour or so and then you go back to sleep. So just like, you know, interrupted sleep patterns. Um let me see. Or diversity like or with that being said you also can work off a little bit of energy you don't you only need about two or three hours of sleep see what we're so prone to think we need eight hours of sleep we need eight hours of sleep if your body wakes up at two or three o'clock in the morning and you ready to go just go get up read a book do some chanting do some meditation don't force yourself to go back to sleep if you're already woke up you know you might find yourself you know, up for two hours and then you didn't did the meditation or the yoga, or whatever you did, and it got you back relaxed and you go back to sleep. But go with the flow of your body. Your body knows what it's doing. Don't get too logical with it and be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so tired from work because I woke up an hour early for my alarm. Just flow. Just really be the flow. Be that shape shifter. I had also um put some information about um shape shifting and how it relates to me um telling you all about breaking labels so that's something else um so yeah so don't worry if you don't get enough enough sleep because your body knows what it, it, it's doing and it's going through a transition and it's going through phases so just ride the way like you gotta get your beyonce on you gotta surf for you got the surf for okay so um and so what they had What they suggested in the article was surrender to it. Get used to it. Don't worry about it. Just get in the flow of it, you know, surrendering to it. And um, because thinking about it, thinking about, oh, my gosh, I'm not going to be able to sleep. Oh, my gosh, I'm not going to be able to sleep. You're going to cause insomnia instead of just going with the flow. Because if you just go with the flow and just know that there's no, you're going to get enough sleep, you won't create the dis-ease in your mind. So let me see. Um, yeah, pretty much all of that. So basically, that's what they're saying about the sleep pattern. So um, what I'm going to kind of do is after each symptom, should we say, I'll take a time to see if anybody wants to ask something or share experience or anything. I'm just going to kind of look through the look through the tech this is probably going to be a long one so i want y'all to know okay nobody really said nothing uh okay whoa so um the next thing is filling your crown chakra awake feeling a tingly sensation pressure throbbing tickling, itching, irritated feeling, that's normally signs of your crown chakra opening up. It's getting used to being um opened up. It's, um, you know, you're receiving messages. You're, you, the more you become aware of your body and you know everything about your body, like, you know, when something's wrong, like, uh-uh, hold on, what's this bump on my, on my knee? <laughs> you know, I ain't never had no bump on my knee. Like, uh, you know, just something like that. Like, being aware, like, oh my gosh, my lungs sound off while I'm breathing like this. Oh, yellow butterfly. So, um, hold on, everything's coming in. Oh, yeah. So, um, just being aware of your body can bring you into awareness of the, um, sensations of the crown. So, you might also experience, um, pressure in your forehead or pressure, uh, up in here, pressure in your penile gland. What's happening is, the penile gland, um, what's wrong with all the chicken? The penile gland, due to um, you know it being de- uh, decalcified from you know the water and the things we eat, the more you get in tune with nature and the more you get in tune with yourself, which is nature, you start to de- uh, decalcify the um, penile gland. And so another a, a way, like I said, you you'll feel like pressure here. You can even feel like, you know, shock waves or it might just throb or hurt. And that's one thing that is, is that's um, breaking up all the stagnant energy, all the gunk, all the goo, and it's really starting to work. And um, a way to tell that your uh, first eye, which I call the first eye is working, is by seeing the synchronicity in numbers. So seeing number sequences. So seeing um, your ancestors in the forms of, 
you know, the butterflies and the dragonflies, seeing repetitions, seeing patterns in your life. When you're able to see the patterns in your life and you're over to and you're able to understand and understand what life really is about and everything is a sign and everything is a clue, that's a sign to tell that your your first eye is definitely on and popping. Um so and another uh way that I can tell that my crown is open like it is now is that I am high off life. It's just I just feel everything like wow it's just such an amazing feeling like even the way the wind is blowing on my skin right now like you just become so in tune with all you can just really feel the wind the earth i can't even really put it in words i can't really it's just it's a divine feeling so um so hold on let me keep reading it so yeah so what else happens is that um, you also feel sometimes your kundalini energy rising because it rises sometimes in the fall. It rises in the fall. The thing is to get and gain control of the rising and the falling. So you control when you want it to rise. See, what happens is when that kundalini rises and it turns into that beautiful lotus, that beautiful lotus and blossoms out of your crown, You'll have, it feels like eruption. Like, uh, you'll feel like in the middle of your head, like an eruption. So if this video turns off, because my phone always tripping when I'm going in, it's talking about it's too hot right now, maybe turned off. If this video turns off, don't worry, I'm getting right back on here. See, it's going crazy. I'm getting right back on here and I'm going to keep talking. So anyway, when it comes up and it erupts, um, it uh it feels like the eruption of your um out of your head and so when you also receive messages from your other chakras because let's not forget you got your eighth the ninth the tenth the eleventh the twelfth you got many different lot layers to your chakra and all of that stuff comes down like the channels so just like imagine it you can even feel like something's raining down on your um on your crown like just raining down on your crown oh yeah I feel it when I do it just raining down on there just. Woo, you could just feel the energy coming in. You know, you could just really feel it coming into that crown. Wonderful feeling. Um hold on. Yeah, so um yeah, and so just to add, you will also feel a lot of different sensations. So um you may experience like um when you get these uploads or downloads or however you want to put it, you'll also feel sometimes your other antennas go off in your body. Um, goosebumps. Goosebumps is uh one of your 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 uh antenna methods. Uh, you know, when when you when you feel goosebumps. You can also, you know, you can feel the presence of different spirits when they're around. You can feel when something's wrong. So know thy bo know thy vehicle. Because this is not even really your body. You have to detach from the idea that this is your body. This is like a spaceship. This is like a vessel. This is like a temple. You have to feed it and you have to do everything right to it so it can, um, 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 you know, uh, function and just, just carry you along this journey. So, um, so yeah, so it's just all coming in right now, y'all. I'm just trying to, I'm looking at they stuff, then my stuff coming in, so I'm just trying to, like, put it all into perspective and language that you guys can understand um so so yeah so you'll feel also you'll feel like warm sensations like um you'll feel um like heat like you can feel like heat like above your body like around your body like your aura feels like it's like heating up so so that kind of covers the crown and I'm just kind of like zipping the line around it because this phone's trying to trip. But like I said, if it turns off, get right back on because we're we getting back into it. So, um, yes, this is the one. So another way to all, another, another symptom that occurs. And see, this stuff goes in, it's like waves. You, you may experience them all at once. You may only, only experience some of them. Know that the more you get higher in your vibration, the less drastic the, the, the symptoms are going to be. So the next thing that you can experience is your emotions, like roller coaster emotions. You might just have like outbursts of just like crying, just crying. Drop it a dime. You're just crying. Embrace it. 
Know that that's old programming. Know that that's old energy being cleared out. That's st- stagnant energy being released to the surface. What's in the dark must come to the light. Let it flow. Let it flow out. Cry. Who cares? Don't judge it. Um, Another thing that you may experience is just unconditional love. This pure just love just pouring in. Like what I'm feeling like right now. Like I just, I love everybody. I love everything. I just feel so like central just like my body like i just been dancing today and just feeling my body listening to like willow smith just had like my et vibe going on so like so just like um just feeling really lovey really like just really lovey really dovey um so embrace embrace what you're feeling really embrace what you're feeling um you also can go from crying to happy joyful joyful to back to like childhood memories what is happening is you're battling your ego and your true self your true self is trying to release and emerge the old programming and trying to take you back to those childhood days or trying to take you back to um something that happened to you maybe you got raped maybe you were divorced maybe your mom mistreated you maybe you know your partner abuses you whatever it is take your thoughts and your memories back to that take it back to that Look at the lesson behind it, acknowledge it, and know that it had to happen to get you to where you are now. So don't see it as anything negative. Release it. <sighs> wow, the way the world feels right now. Hmm. I'm sorry, I just had to take that. I'm not even sorry. I just had to take a moment to embrace the wind blowing right now. It's such a beautiful thing. So... Um, let's get back into it. 